Frying meat in animal fat is one of the earliest forms of cooking, because you don't need much. You have the animal, which has the meat and the fat, and you have a big pot over a live fire. Now, cooking in animal fat has fallen out of fashion in recent years, but we're back today because Christy's going to show us how to make fried chicken in lard. <laughs> That's right, Julie. I can't wait for this. <laughs> well, in many areas of the country, especially in the South and the Midwest, this method has really never fallen out of favor. And the inspiration for this fried chicken recipe comes from Indiana. It's a straightforward approach to frying chicken, and it gives us that deep, savory flavor that only cooking and frying in lard can give us. I'm all in. <laughs> but before we can fry, we've got to start by breaking down our chicken. So we need three pounds of chicken parts. This is a four and a half pound chicken, which will give us three pounds of parts. That makes sense. Now, I like to start with a pretty dry chicken, so pat it nice and dry, because it's not as slippery. <laughs> I like to take the wings off first. And I'm using my carving knife. This is a really perfect knife to use for this, because it's all about getting in the joints, mm -hmm. between the joints and separating there. You shouldn't have a lot of cracking and crunching of bones. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna flip this over on the back and I'm going to use my chef's knife now to cut through the skin above the thigh. And then I'm gonna pop the hip bone out of joint and kind of skim the back to cut off the whole leg quarter. All right, now we wanna cut the backbone off and that's when I just wanna use my kitchen shears. Absolutely. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna cut off the rib cage too. To cut the breasts in half, you could flip over and cut this way through the breastbone. I like to cut from the underside because huh. the breastbone is really narrow on the top, but on the back, you kind of have a nice broad plate to work from. And now these breasts are huge, so I'm gonna cut them in half, but do you cut them right in half or no, do you? No, one third, two thirds. Yes. Yeah, because there's the thick end and then there's the skinny end, and you want them to kind of cook at the same rate. Right. All right, so now we are almost there, but now we've got these big leg quarters and we wanna cut those into thighs and drumsticks. You just have to follow the line of fat. I like to wiggle the drumstick a little bit too and stick my finger in there to feel where that joint is. Aha, that's another good tip. So find the joint and the line of fat, but it should come apart pretty easily. Now, before we do anything else, we have to season these because a hallmark of this Indiana fried chicken recipe is this is not a, a, a lackadaisical salting and peppering. We're gonna be aggressive with this. Okay. So I have two teaspoons of kosher salt. I'm gonna sprinkle this all over. And I have a whole tablespoon of pepper here. <laughs> that's, a, that's more pepper than salt. It's, it's a lot of pepper. These will, you know, make you stand up and cheer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know what I'm in for now. All right, now we can start coating. So this is a very simple, delicate flour coating. We're not making a batter for this. I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And actually, would you help me with this? Sure. So I, in the far bowl, mm -hmm. I have one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Baking powder, mm -hmm. all right. And I have a tablespoon of kosher salt. I'm gonna give it a little. Sure. Yeah, sure. We can work together on I that. I like this. Yeah. You stay clean, I'll be dirty. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> All right, now, here's the process. So working with one piece at a time. Uh -huh. First, we're going to dredge it in the flour to kind of absorb some of that surface moisture mm -hmm. on the skin. Shake off the excess. Now, I have this mysterious bowl here. It's four cups of water. Okay. And it's an important part in this whole recipe. I will tell you in a moment. So we're gonna give it a dunk, quickly wetting the flour that's there, and that's going to create some glue and we'll put it back in the flour. It's a more substantial coating than just mm -hmm. flouring them, but it's not as much as if you added an egg or made a batter. So it's kind of a nice in-between. So Julia, I'm just gonna keep dredging and dipping until I finish with the rest of the chicken, and then we'll put the whole plate in the refrigerator. We're gonna let it chill for 30 minutes or up to two hours in order to give the coating a chance to adhere. Julia, I have two pounds of lard that's heating up over medium-high heat in a six-quart Dutch oven, and I'm looking for the lard to get up to 350 degrees. Standard frying temperature. Right, but you'll notice this isn't a ton of lard, and so it's kind of an interesting technique, and I'll show you what we're doing, but we're gonna put all of the chicken in at once, skin side down. Now, why skin side down? 
because the oil's nice and hot right now and it's going to cool as we add more chicken. And so starting it with the hot oil is going to kind of jumpstart the rendering uh -huh. of the fat. But you want to try to have it on one layer so that all of the chicken is flush against the bottom of the pot. And I want to keep the oil between 300 and 325 degrees. And I'll adjust my flame, you know, to make sure that it stays there. Now we're going to let this go for 10 minutes on this side. But halfway through, after five minutes, I'm going to rotate the whole pot 180 degrees. You know that some stovetops, your burners have hot spots. Oh, definitely. And all of this chicken is really close to the burners. And we don't want it to scorch. We want to even out the cooking and accommodate any of those hot spots. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. So five minutes, we'll give it a turn. OK. It's been five minutes, Julia. So I'm going to carefully rotate the pot 180 degrees. Five more minutes, Julia. OK. It's been 10 minutes on this side, but I did rotate it after five minutes. So now we can take a peek. I'm dying to see what it looks like. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it? So we'll let this cook a little bit longer until it's really golden brown. And of course, we want the chicken breast to be 160 degrees, the thighs and the drumsticks to be 175. And you know that's going to take between five and nine minutes for each of those pieces to get there. It's smelling really good, Christy. <laughs> I think we got to tamp them. It's right. time. It's time. So I'm going to try a breast, because that should be finished before the thighs and the drumsticks. Mm -hmm. 161. Perfect. Now, I'm going to set this on triple layer of paper towels. I only have over half of the wire rack. There's still some grease attached, and we want to give it a chance to blot some of that before we move it aside. So I'll let it go about 10 seconds on one side, blot the other side. In the meantime, I'm going to grab another piece of chicken. All right, let's check those thighs. 176. On the nose. I live with that. Now we have to wait 10 minutes and then we can dig in. Because it was ripping hot. So hot. Christy, it's beautiful. <laughs> it is absolutely the most beautiful fried chicken. The hue of golden is perfection. I'm going to try a little of the dark meat. I'm going to have a thigh. Okay. And I'm going to take a breast piece. All right. And I'll think I'll try a drumstick. And I will do a breast also. Man, this looks good. Look how juicy that is. That's incredible. That coating is so hearty. And it's so well seasoned. Yeah, I was waiting for the big kick of pepper, but I'm not getting it. It's not overpowering by any stretch. It's just nicely seasoned. Mm -hmm. When you can get it to taste this good with just two seasonings, mm -hmm. it's so savory. Yeah. Christy. <laughs> I can't stop eating this. <laughs> this is delicious, thank you. So if you wanna make lard fried chicken, start by seasoning the chicken with a good amount of salt and ground black pepper. Dip the chicken in water when breading and rotate the pot during cooking. From Cook's Country, an incredible recipe for lard fried chicken. I love how you put it all in the pot at the one time. That's, right? that's good. Why monkey around? Like, let's get in there, get out and have some chicken. <laughs>